Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Boston Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are myth-busting Alibi. So Alibi is the new trickster defender. She has holograms of herself which trick enemy into shooting them and then giving away their position. She also comes equipped with some really nice weaponry. She's got the MX-4 Storm submachine gun. This is a really nice weapon. She also has the fully automatic shotgun along with two sidearm revolvers. So she's got the bailiff which actually fires shotgun shells. So a revolver that fires shotgun shells and that is very satisfying to get a kill with. So let's get started with the myths. So Alibi's holograms are actually lower quality than her own player model. So if you actually check them out, you can see them side by side. Alibi is actually quite obviously herself and the other one's obviously the hologram. The big giveaway is the goggles. You can see that we cannot see the hologram's eyes, whereas Alibi, we can see her eyes. You can also see she's moving around. You can see the textures are better. The polygon count on the like weapon and stuff like that is higher on the real model and not on the hologram. Now, this is running on a PC with everything maxed out in the settings. So this will be the result when you play as well. You'll probably see that there's a difference between the hologram and the actual operator. And this can help you identify which one is the true operator and of course which one to shoot. So this is handy to know. Now also none of the customizations for the operators go into the holograms and none of the weapon attachments as well. So if you see a hologram with the shotgun, it is definitely the real alibi. So that's confirmed lower quality holograms. Alibi's holograms can be spotted. So of course this would be a big giveaway if when you spot they don't show up and that's actually the case. They don't show up as an actual operator. This is actually quite a fast way of spotting the real alibi and getting a shot off on her. If she's trying to do the hall of mirrors kind of thing where she stands with her holograms and you can drone out for your buddy and go, that's the right one. So that is busted. Throwing objects into a hologram will give away your position. This is very interesting. It uses the trajectory of your throw in order to find out where you are and then ping your position. Of course, that is a uh, very uh, high tech, but confirmed that's how it works. And Alibi's holograms can locate a player just based on a drone. Now this one makes no sense at all, but if you jump a drone through these holograms, if you interact with them at all, if you drive over their feet or whatever, you will then ping your location to the enemy. So it's a bit of an odd choice, I think, but certainly it's something to watch out for. And a great way to use this is to put these holograms behind like a deployable shield that the drones need to jump over because then of course they can jump right through the hologram and give away the enemy's position. Dropping a hologram through a trap door. So this is something I really wanted to be a thing that I could put a hologram on top of a trap door, shoot it out, it would fall down and people would think they were going to attack and they start shooting at it. It would be hilarious. But unfortunately when you destroy the actual panel and the holograms fall, they don't work. They actually close right back up again and they seem to get stuck in the debris. The thing is too, the debris doesn't actually seem to affect the holograms once they're down, which is kind of odd. Even if you have already have a hologram below it and you shoot out the panel, the hologram's fine. So it's only when they actually drop down, which is a real pity. I think this would have been a sweet little tactic, but unfortunately it is not the case, it is busted. Alibi makes defenders outside unknown. Now this of course is a thing they showed off at the live stream, but I didn't realize that it works just by having an alibi on your team, not actually having a hologram outside. So of course if you throw the hologram out, they'll have a question mark above their heads, but also if there's no holograms outside and you run outside, you will still have a question mark above your head. So that's confirmed and I thought a nice little detail. Shotgun revolver damage. So of course this is the first revolver we've had in this game that has shotgun shells. And as you can see, it fires four pellets, which is far less than the normal shotgun to the Rainbow Six Siege fire. You can see I'm going to hit Flitz in the head here with one of the pellets, and he's still standing. This is because shotguns don't have that damage to headshots that rifles and SMGs do. This means you can shoot someone in the head with this weapon quite a few times and they will not die. So you have to know that when you're engaging with this weapon, you cannot engage it even up to medium range. You need to be damn close to do some considerable damage to actually get a kill with this weapon and aiming for the head might not be the best option as well but eliminated. there you go that is the new shotgun revolver 
it is very satisfying to get a kill with and a lot of fun but that is busted for the damage the shotgun pistol can open hatches so of course this little shotgun is not the best at damage but it really is nice and versatile of course you can have an smg as your primary and then you can have this little shotgun pistol for either really close engagement encounters or you can actually have it to open panels which means of course it saves you an impact grenade and i really love this about this weapon and it sometimes does take quite a few shots to pop the panel but if you get the right angle you can do it pretty quickly so that is confirmed shotgun destruction so I thought we would just show off the fully automatic shotgun. This thing is it's mental. It's unlike anything I've ever seen in Rainbow in a primary slot. It's just incredible. You can also pre-fire with this shotgun because it has a 30 round magazine. You can pre-fire with it. It's crazy. Now another little detail is that Vela only has a daytime variation. Up until now, every single map of Rainbow Six Siege had a night variation and a daytime variation. Whereas now all you can get is daytime. Now I don't know if this means this will be how they'll do it with maps going forward, if they'll always have just a daytime and not a nighttime anymore, or if it's just a one-off for this villa. Of course it does look the best in sunny Italy, and at night maybe it would lose some of that beauty. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do in the future. But yeah, that's confirmed. There is no night version of the villa map. And that is the first time for Rainbow Six Siege map. So there we go, guys. That is me busting the myths for Alibi. So if you've got any more myths you want me to test, you can submit them in the comments below. And if you also want to check out my Maestro video where I myth busted him as well, you can go check that out. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. You're mine. If you pick it wrong, you're mine.